Good morning and welcome to another beautiful day. Today is pick up car rental day. Let's go grab a taxi, got to go to the airport to pick up my rental car, then I'm going to escape the city of Sofia and take you to Plovdiv. Paperwork complete. Key to a car. Key to a car. Key to a Key. Arr. Let's go find our car. Okay, now I've rented through Hertz. And pick up at Sofia Airport Terminal 2. All I have to do is find the red car. Oh, there's only one red car. Press the button. Now that's it. The squeaky one. Here's our car. Welcome to our road trip, Bulgaria. Easy journey. It was actually only an hour and a half drive from Sofia to Plovdiv. Found my accommodation, got the keys. Now let's show you around. It's on the first floor. And where's the light? There we go. And here we go. Let's get the key right around. Let's go in and show you around. There we go. So, first of all, there's a nice lounge area, nice airy windows, TV, there is Wi-Fi here as well. And then around this side is the kitchen, it's fully equipped, pots, pans, plates, coffee machine, uh, fridge, hot plate, and a plan, place, sorry, to eat and or work, more likely work. Oh, there's also a few books and games. Maps and there's also a map of the city they've left for me, which is great. So there's a lounge dining room. The entrance hall there is a washing machine. Then there's the bedroom. A big bedroom. I believe the sofa couch uh, in the lounge can also pull out and sleep too as well. And then you've got this big double bedroom here. Nice and simple, nice big bed, aircon unit and uh, a wardrobe. So that's nice and easy and then at the end is the bathroom. Oops, I felt the step. Again, toilet and a bidet and a sink and a basin. Hot water and a boiler, towels and everything provided. So, Looking nice, it's very clean, spick and span, located just across the river from the main centre of Plovdiv, so in a nice quiet area, there's absolutely no noise outside at all, nothing at all, but only a few minutes walk apparently from the town. So, let's get those bags unpacked and go and have a look around 
Plovdiv. exploring Plovdiv. Now I have walked across the river from my accommodation into uh, the town and I'm going up one of the hills to get some nice views for the sunset. And I found a sign which has got some instructions and some directions in, some information about the place, but it's all in Hungarian. <laughs> so I've no idea what it says but I get the idea where I think we're down in one of these corners here somewhere and I've got to make a way up there. That's what's at the top. That's the view of it. So, let's hopefully follow this path and get to the top. It's actually turned out into quite a beautiful evening. It uh, has been quite sunny, uh, quite rainy on the journey here. And then it turned out sunny and mixed cloud this evening. So let's see what sort of sunset we get over Plovdiv this evening. Oh, this is nice. It's hot as well. 28 degrees. It's nice to walk in the shade a little bit. Whew. Okay, let's get hiking. I hope this is the right way. I don't want to wander round and round and not go up. Hmm. Liberation Hill, a Soviet-era monument overlooking Plovdiv with fantastic views of the city and the mountain. Let me show you around. I've got beautiful evening, although it's a little cloudy over that side. There's blue sky, there's going to be a sunset. Oh, it's going to be a lovely evening. Good news, at the end of my walk I found this description in English for us, so... been long in Plodiv, but it's been fantastic. Went up to the viewpoint, the monument, had a look around, the walk, very nice. Came down, saw the dancing fountains, kids having great fun there. The restaurant with some music playing and meals and drinks, but apparently it's a bit expensive. So now, heading from there into the old quarter to see if we can find something to eat and drink for the evening. <laughs> Thank you. 
lovely full belly after delicious beef pepper steak. And now wandering through the old town and I've got lost. And I know it's not unusual for me to be lost. And slightly more complicated problem. I've run out of battery on my phone so I don't have Google Maps. So I've had to resort to asking people and a good old fashioned paper map. Fortunately, I'm quite good at reading. Now, the river is... Um, uh, the river's got to be somewhere. And uh, I'm actually running out of people to ask. Ask those people, they've no idea. The thing is, um, you know, I sort of like... I know vaguely where I should go on the map, but I don't know where I am on the map. And, uh, and when I, it's difficult to ask people where to go because they, well, where would you like to go? They say, well, I'd like to go home. I mean, where's home? Well, it's like, um, uh, I don't really know. <laughs> and I've got, can't access my phone, so I can't see the street name or address. And I'm in a place called The Trap. How convenient. I've been trapped in The Trap and everything's closed. Well, pretty much everything closed. But, uh, I think if I walk down this way, I will find the river. When I find the river, I'll know where I am. So I'm not technically that lost, just a little confused. Just it doesn't look like there's a river over there, does it? Well, uh, I haven't found a way home yet. I haven't really even found where I am on the map. But I did get distracted once again, because look what I found in the dark. Uh, some sort of statue lit up. And a kid on a uh, scooter board thing. Anyway, have a look at this. Like a... Look at that. Okay, enough of the distractions. Pretty that they are. I... Somebody told me the river is behind here. So that means I'm just gonna walk along here until I find a bridge. Turn right, go over the bridge and hope something looks familiar in the dark. <laughs> I found it. Uh, except which door is it? I think it's this one. <laughs> he says he found it and then he went to the car park. Okay, goodness, this is it. I'm fairly sure this is it. All I'm gonna do is make the key work. Yes! Oh, oh no, yes, yes, I'm in. Ah. Oh. Thank goodness. 